Bet you never met a girl who's creative, who's a vibe. Bust it down. You about to get familiar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just to start, her name is Ivy. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ivy and this is Hang with Ivy. And yeah. Anyway, Sijawana for some time. I know last week, which is this week, I posted only one video and it actually did not do well. But anyway, uh tutarudi back to consistency, tutarudi back. We're just gradually getting there. So right now we are gonna do a travel vlog like you've seen on the, down in the comment section. And we are going to Kampala, Uganda with my farm bum and yeah we'll see if we'll do a vlog around i'll try and do a vlog if you're seeing this then definitely i did like a vlog but around my family and friends i try to be a little bit uh, sensitive because i chose this life they did not so uh, i'll i'll vlog where they are comfortable with me vlogging where they are not comfortable we're not gonna do that because like i said family comes first so yeah come with me uh my passport i applied for my passport but my passport has not come out yet so i applied for a temporary permit let me show you guys how it looks like I applied for this on the 4th of march and it's valid until march 2025 which is okay so yeah basically that you can apply for this on e citizen easy or if you don't know how if you're afraid of applying for it on your own you can go to you can go to the cyber. The cyber guys can also apply for you at a charge one fifty. Applying for this on e citizen costs you three hundred and fifty bob, but you can go and get it applied for you at the cyber, which will cost you a total of five hundred, which is three fifty plus the one fifty that they'll charge you to print and to do the work for you. So yeah, it's not that difficult. And yeah, my mom is also applying for a also applied for a temporary permit but my sister has a passport yaki at least ilitoka so uh, for those who want to know how to apply for the temporary permit you can let me know in the comments down below and i'll do like a very fast uh, screen record of how to do it but it's very easy i promise i did i did mine myself i didn't go to the cyber so yeah, come with me, sign at Kakuoga. I already packed. I had already packed a bag in the morning before going to work. So that's my bag. It's not big. We're not going for many days. And then all I had to add was now the permit. Anyway, so yeah, uh, come with me at Kakuoga. I snack Kidogo because I'm supposed to be in town at 6. And currently it's what? Can I get the time? It's... 3 45 i'm supposed to be in town by 6 so that i meet up with my mom and my sister so yeah let's do this i hope this time i'll be on time pray for me pray for me i want to be on time like i was on time for the kisumu trip it's better to be early than to be late so imagine it's for 4 13 then you can four. anyway i think i've tried i think i've tried it's all 13 minutes into recover by kupandandudi instead of walking Mm -hmm. And then you make sure we've cut down by six. Hopefully, Gary's the jar because I from where I live to get to town might be tricky. Ku Gary kuja, but cross our fingers. Bye. <laughs> Guys, I made it to town on time. Siku chelewa, ata nilipata watu nilikuwa na na worry about our jafika. Guys, hapa mnaona dada yangu akini lecture for taking a video of her when she does not look good. But anyway, by this time we were in Uganda at the border of Kenya and Uganda po busia. And we were at having them check our passports and everything. Ebu look at how Ugandan money looks like. <laughs> Guys, so to me in Uganda, let me tell you something. Your part your yeah, immigration is not as easy as we thought. If you don't have a yellow fever card and you don't have 
the passport or the temporary permit it's gonna be hectic for you but it was so it was like harder because we used like eight hours i think or ten hours to fika busia but me fika kampala it's like early morning I don't remember how many hours it was, maybe 16, but to go Kampala at this point, they had to bring dogs to check for drugs and everything in the bus before we left and now went to stage, uh, the main stage now. Mm. Finally, we are in Kampala. We had the nduma, marago and the vegetables and then me and my sister had the fries and the onions. Okay, so to mefika Kampala, kikaturamba. The place we had planned to go and sleep uh, it was like work, something happened, something just went wrong. Need any trivial. So we, here we are looking for a new place to sleep, and this is what we decided on. This one, it was so cute. This place had like a balcony. The view was not all that, but it is all we could get with the like a short ninyeng at Lifika to Kutafta in a place that we don't even know. So this was the car, car view. The view was the town. Yeah, it's. It's bad, but yeah. the hotel was okay, so it's okay. Nisawa too. It was nice. This is their stage, guys, and they call their matatus taxis. It's just, let me just say, it's, it's like Kenya, but it's a little bit of a downgrade. Okay, a lot of a downgrade. Kampala, I don't think we're going to go there again, but you can go and try. Maybe it's our experience that was not that good. See the green building over there? That's the hotel we slept at. That one. Guys, at this point, we were still taking a walk with my mom. My sister got very sick. So she couldn't take this walk with us around town. But as you see, Ebu are the number of border borders in this country. Like, there are way too many. Like, this is too much. You got to anxiety when you're crossing the road. They are way more than the vehicles, as you can see. But anyway, it's like, I don't know, it was interesting seeing them when they were that many. Guys, this side of town is like their river road. It's like their river road. There are so many workshops and stuff. And it's bananas in every way. Roasted banana, boiled banana mashed banana when you pass through the seats you just see mashed banana boiled banana roasted banana like it's the staple food so this trip was bittersweet i didn't show you all of it because yeah like i said i only showed the past that people are comfortable with but this is us leaving it was bittersweet my sister was sick we didn't get the the place we wanted to go and but I don't know. I don't regret it. At least we got the experience of being in a different African country. And yeah, East or West, home is best. Clearly, that's their police station. Uh -huh. Anyway, so let me know what you guys think. But basically, let's see which other country we'll go to. Maybe Tanzania. I've seen reviews of Tanzania are really nice.
Um, this is their bypass. Um, I don't know what to say, guys. You guys just uh, review it and tell me what to think. That's their cops, they wear brown. Anyway. But this part actually had like a really nice view as you can see. Upper Sezi Sezi on Gasana. This one was a nice view. Very, very green and nice. And the roads are not they don't have that much traffic as inside the city. And there are not that much motorbikes. This was, I think, seven hours later, and this bridge right here was had like a really nice view from afar, but I couldn't capture it. This is now Jinja. Uh, this is the immigration part again at the border, and I decided to record Kidugu. It's hectic, and we are back in Kenya. Let me know what you think you guys don't forget to like share and subscribe and if it's you've been to uganda before if you're a kenyan who's going to uganda before let me know what you think what's the difference do you think it's an upgrade or a downgrade and ugandans who've come to kenya what do you think do you think it's an upgrade or a downgrade yeah we're back Interesting, captivating everything